All right. Uh, we are now joined by Till Derenbach, the director of Men of Hope, for a quick Q&A. And Till, thanks very much for joining us for this. Um, I want to just start off with how, how did you get involved in this project? Um, you know, I've read a little bit about that you, you read an article or something like that. Tell us how you got involved. Yeah, this was crazy times. We were working so about many projects in Germany and and we were so overloaded, overloaded by ordinary work. And we tried to do something for our soulmates to to do something very special, to produce something which is quite extraordinary and to help the world to get a better to get a better place. Um, and then I saw this um, article in a national newspaper here in Germany um, that there's a soccer coach in Kabul in Afghanistan um, who is who gives um, uh, training to the Afghan national team? It's a German guy. His name is Peter Shegert, and he is doing this very very dangerous job. And I asked myself, what is he doing there in Afghanistan? It's a it's a war country. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. So he must be crazy, but he might be also something in mind which is directed to peace, to 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 soul things, to to have human human aspects in mind. So this was the question I had most to him. Mm. Um, and as I met him the first time, exact, exactly it was what I explained before. It was this, I want to do something for peace. I want to do something for a better place in, in this world, especially for Afghanistan. He loved these um, uh, players and uh, the country so much. So he was deeply, deeply um, involved into the culture of Afghanistan. And this was fascinating um, for us. And as he said yes to us to do this movie, we were quite happy. And then a long, long journey started. I mean, he comes across as such an amazing person who, who as you said, had so much passion for the team and for the country and for doing something. What was his reaction when you said, hey, look, I want to make a film about this? What, was he all for it or was he? did you have to convince him? It was not easy. I mean, we 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 prepared um, a, a very uh, positive flow trailer to to uh, let him watch, and um, I think this was a moment where he understood that we want to do something very very special, something good for the future for mm -hmm. this country. That we want to bring over football, that we use football as a bridge for for peace. And he understood it and said to us, but let me think about, I mean, hmm. I have, this is my profession. Um, I'm a coach. I'm not a movie guy. Um, um, how can, how can, what can I do there? And if it's really, um, is it supportive for my work or not? So he had to, he had to ask himself a lot of questions. He did it and he called me after some weeks and said, yes, I will do it. But if there is revenues coming from the movie, let's do it let's bring it let's give it not to me not to the producer let's give it to the children of afghanistan hmm. and create a better future so this was our our deal a little bit of course after my investment into the movie and then it started as a revenue but this is our deal um, we did together to help uh, afghan um, people through sports activities um, to see more uh, peaceful um uh future aspects um that's amazing so it's 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 terrific and obviously you know hopefully the film and i think the film does a good job of this of sort of showing some of the optimism that can also exist in a country or a land that is so filled with tension and conflict um but what were the difficulties of filming in a country like this you know <laughs> were you scared when you were going or what you know how how was it like for you we of course we were scared but let mm. me be very honest i've never been there ah okay so i visited turkmenistan vietnam jordan yeah. uh, lebanon and all the other countries you can you can see and watch in my movie right. yeah we visited it because we planned a travel to kabul mm. um at that moment um, peter shegard was um 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 refused for his job what's yeah. the right word in english yeah they he said, was let go yeah they quit his job the, yeah. the president quit his job and this was the moment we wanted to to travel oh. to afghanistan <laughs> so we stopped our traveling in a second oh, you yeah. can imagine and yeah yeah and 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 you you remember it, it was so hard for peter 
um, mm. to leave the country in 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 a in a not injured or or, or not hurted way. Right. This was really really. Hard. But you can see this story in the movie. It's really yeah. it's really outstanding. You don't want to be in such a situation as he was. Right. So we 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 refused to travel at Kabul at that time. But what we did is, of course, we sent. Um, a Kabul um, uh, team um, mm. for us um, ar around into the city to follow uh, Benjamin, the young boy you can also see um, in our movie. Yeah. What, um, what has been the reaction since it's come out? I mean, you know, there are a lot of players in Germany or, you know, who are refugees from Afghanistan. Have they seen the film and, and what's the reaction been? In, in general, the reaction is from, from Afghan people, even if they mm. are even if they are refugees in, in Europe or in other countries, other continents, yeah. it's very positive. Yeah? Because yeah. they say here is an, an evidence of what, what sports activity can bring as positive aspects to the world. And that's, that's the truth. Mm. Yeah? They, are, they, they have been kind of superstars, but they earn nothing. So they have to bring some money to pay their own plane to coming to, an, mm. to, an, to a national team um, <laughs> uh, uh, match. So yeah. this is, you can't imagine, it's impossible. If you, if you understand um, our commercial football business in Europe or in other countries, yeah. and you compare it with the one in Afghanistan, here, here we're we starting with the, the first moment of what are the good aspects um, uh, of football, of sports activity in general. And you can see it very, very clearly. Mm -hmm. And this makes this documentary, I guess, quite interesting. So we received lots of, lots of, very very positive feedback mm. of course we we didn't receive uh positive feedbacks from the officials um and there's no offer coming from the um uh, national broadcaster in afghanistan till now <laughs> uh <laughs> but um might be a sharky story i don't know yeah. <laughs> um uh so it's um for the players and for the for the coach peter shegart and and what happened there it's a very it's a true true story it's based on true facts all what we are saying is true yeah. so this is this is really the deepest documentary you can do and and you can produce over over lots of time so they the, the players are uh, as i know um uh, excited um uh, about this documentary and and they can they can also look in the mirror saying this is so interesting what we are doing here. This is so important also for us. What they, they had this instinct that it's very, very important what they are doing, but mm. they did have that mirror position like a, like a documentary. And now, yeah, they yeah. See it. and now they see and feel how their own attitude was uh, a part of the, of the overall cosmos. So this is, I guess, quite interesting for them. And we are still in friendship with most of them. That's great. Yeah, it gives them a chance also to see that what they were doing, right, was inspiring, and it can help inspire them to keep doing it in many ways. So, um, but but let me ask you one one last question. You know, every time you make a film, anytime anyone makes a film or writes a book or writes a poem or whatever, right, you're affected personally, right? How how have you been affected by this film because it's such a unique story? Um, you know, how have you changed or been inspired by it in, yourself as a filmmaker and as a person? As a filmmaker, there's there's no changing for me. But as mm. as as for my person, for my character, what I learned is you need your instincts in life. It's so important to listen to your instincts that you understand that you're doing the right thing in the next second, mm. and it's not allowed to do a wrong thing in the next second. Because mm -hmm. if you do it, you're dead. Mm -hmm. So this is something you have to listen. You have to be very clear in your mind and you have to listen exactly to your instincts. If you don't doing that, you can have a big, big problem doing such a movie. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is a thing I, I learned. And you know, I'm, I'm, this was, I'm a first time director here. Mm -hmm. in, in, in my ordinary life, I'm a producer for uh, big feature and uh, TV stuff here in Germany yeah. Yeah. and yeah. also in Europe. So yeah. this was the first time and this is a, a totally soul coming from my heart project with my colleague Andreas and also with the support of my company. Mm. Uh, all the people are around and also with my partner's uh, company. So this is 
totally different what we have done here. Yeah? Mm. Um, but the learning is listen to your instincts and be clear as possible. Well, that is uh, a great advice. So um, I want to thank you for joining me here for this, but also thank you for the may film. I, may I give you a last sentence from my side? Of course. Yeah. First of all, I wish you all the best for your festival. Lots of audience coming to you. Uh, hope after the pandemic, you will have great moments, uh, personal, emotional moments. Fingers crossed. The best for that. I, my last, my, no, not my, the, the, the last before the last um, festival for men of hope was in stockholm mm. and this was an afghan festival only mm. with afghan people okay and and they said you can't imagine it was so amazing mm. they said to me like this thank you so much mr dierenbach yeah. you did a positive story about afghanistan mm. it wasn't positive it wasn't possible in my whole life but you did it thank you thank you thank you Unbelievable. I never had that before in Europe. It's yeah. great. I yeah, love these a... people. I love these people and my coach, Peter Shegat, and all the players, of course. Yeah. Let me say that this all comes from here. This, yeah. this I really learned from my coach, Peter Shegat. Have to think with your heart. That's the message. Think with your heart. That's a good one. All right, Till, thank you very, very much. Thanks for joining me here. And thank you for the film. Um, you know, it was, it's, a, it's a brilliant film. I really, really enjoy it. Thank so. you very much. All right. Thanks. Enjoy. Bye. Tschüss. Bye. Tschüss. Ciao. Bye-bye.